Modern autofocus lenses focus in a much different way than vintage camera lenses did. For example, this Sigma 35mm f1.4 focuses like this, but when the autofocus is actually engaged, this focusing ring doesn't move at all. What actually moves inside are the elements themselves. So then, how did vintage camera lenses actually focus? So if we look at this Mamiya RB67, we can see that it focuses in a much different way. There's something here called the bellows system, which basically takes the lens and extends it out quite a bit. The lens elements themselves don't move at all, and with some of these cameras, parameters like both the aperture and the shutter speed are controlled around the lens. That's pretty cool, right? Well, yeah, for the most part, but the problem is that cameras with bellow systems tend to run into a lot of problems. This Polaroid 185 camera, while beautiful, uses a lens bellows focusing system, so it focuses by moving the lens bellows back and forth. This is pretty cool because it helps keep the overall system more compact, but the problem is these bellows. These bellows are made from a cloth plastic type material, and if they were to be punctured, then it would throw off the entire exposure because more light would leak in, it would be hitting here and there. To prevent any of those leaks from happening, what a lot of photographers ended up doing was getting these bellows repaired and refined as much as possible. Sometimes it was as easy as putting a little piece of tape there or gaffer tape or something like that. Sometimes you had to replace the whole bellows. Many large format and larger format, medium format cameras like 6.6, 6.7, some of them 6.6 or 6.9, they focus using a bellow system. So if you go out and purchase one of these cameras, and I know a lot of you really love large format and the look that you can get from it, be sure to check the bellow system because there may be problems like punctures to the bellows that can throw off the entire exposure or cause light leaks and you may not want that or you may want that depending on the look you're going for. Either way, just know that not all lenses focus using these really nice manual focus rings that are on so many lenses out there. So keep that in mind the next time you go out and purchase a vintage camera.